Fighting cancer tonight, CBS, NBC, and ABC will all join together to fight the disease with a special called Stand Up to Cancer. CBS News medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook spoke exclusively with a cancer survivor who will be featured on the special tonight. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. This is the story of a physician who's not just the healer, he's also the healed. Dr. David Servant Schreiber shared time with me and some of the secrets he's learned fighting his own deadly cancer. There are moments in life that change us. That moment came for David Servant Schreiber on a fall day 16 years ago. When I was 31, as a neuroscientist and a physician, I discovered in my own brain scanner experiment that I had uh, brain cancer. An MRI scan revealed a tumor the size of a walnut. I felt scared, overwhelmed, uh, confused. I felt betrayed by God. A conventionally trained physician, Servan Schreiber says surgery and chemotherapy saved his life. But when he asked how he could change his lifestyle to help beat the cancer for good, he came up empty. But as soon as you stop the chemo, uh, you feel stripped and you think, wow, what do I do now? And then everybody asks their doctor, and this is when 99% of us get the standard answer, which is nothing in particular. Live your life like you always did. Servan Schreiber did what he knew best. He hit the books. He was surprised to find studies on how nutrition and exercise might help the body fight cancer, information doctors never told him. There's incredible evidence that physical exercise helps prevent cancer and mm -hmm. also helps people who already have cancer prevent a recurrence. Uh, whatever length of life I have, I want to be able to live it fully. According to Servan Schreiber, herbs and spices like garlic, turmeric, rosemary, thyme, mint, and green tea help make the body less fertile for cancer. We have so much evidence in, in cells when you, know, you put a little bit of uh, garlic extract on cancer cells and, and they die. He says fruits and vegetables like Brussels sprouts, asparagus, and raspberries can target specific cancers, at least in test tubes. But does that mean it will work inside the body? And critics would say, you know something, nutrition, exercise, it's just not evidence-based medicine. You know, I, I wish I could wait longer so that we have certainty, but by the time you have certainty, I'd be dead. Your body knows how to fight cancer, help it with the right nutrition, with physical exercise, with managing stress better and avoiding contaminants that feed cancer. And if you do these things, which are very simple, you're greatly increasing your chances of beating the odds. Now this is 16 years later and you know I'm still here, so I'm grateful uh, and I actually feel a lot healthier than before I ever had yes. cancer, which, which is fantastic. Yes, and, and I hope to keep it that way for as long as I can. That was great. Thank you. Thank really you. beautiful. Yeah. And why do you think it is that more doctors don't give that advice, the advice he took himself, why don't they give that advice to their patients? Harry, I think we're not sure what exactly to say. The literature is confusing, the evidence isn't definitive, mm -hmm. and so doctors feel uncomfortable giving advice today mm -hmm. with incomplete data. But you know, right. we do that all the time, and you ask yourself two questions. One is, what makes sense? And Dr. Servan Schreiber tries to address that in the book. And mm -hmm. two is, what's the downside? What's the risk? And is there any, really? Well, fruit, vegetables, exercise, maybe the risk is decreasing the chance of getting a heart attack. <laughs> Not much of a risk, right? There you go. Dr. D John LaPook, we will look forward to seeing the uh, special tonight. You can watch Stand Up to Cancer right here on CBS. That's tonight at 8, 7 Central. And to see Dr. LaPook talking with cancer patients about nutrition and the things their doctors are not telling them, head to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com.